Hey guys, Geek J here with Geeks 101. And yes, this is not the official Geeks 101 channel. I'm still trying to recover our channel, but I haven't been able to do so as of the filming of this video. I'm gonna keep you posted with any updates, if any. And uh, before we begin, a disclaimer. This video is not a tutorial on how to install OBS Studio, it's not a tutorial on how to install Equalizer APO, and it's not a tutorial on how to install Reaper plugins or any other VST plugins. It is a video for people that already have those programs and the plugins installed on their computers, but are just like me, having trouble creating a noise profile or adjusting any of the settings in their VST plugins through Equalizer ABO because it has a very limited VST support as of the recording of this video. So let me quickly demonstrate the problem and we're going to move on to our desktop. I'm going to fire up Equalizer APO configuration editor. As you can see, this is the selected device. I'm using a microphone, it's a blue snowball. And this is the configuration.txt file we're using. And for more detail, you can see here we have a noise suppressor, we're using some equalizers, a noise gate, a compressor, and a limiter. So, let's try to disable all of these plugins. And the sound is going to be very different, and you're probably going to be able to hear all the noise from my computers and the natural noise of, you know, a room. So let's get to that. My voice is probably sounding very, very different and you can hear the natural noise of a room with computers. Doesn't sound good. What we wanna do next is click on this plus button. We're gonna go to plugins and VST plugin. I'm gonna click on the little file over here the default location where most of the VST plugins are going to be installed is C program files, VST plugins, and then there's going to be a little folder created by each, uh, let's say, company like Reaper. And we're going to select reaffair underscore standalone dot DLL and we're going to add it into our configuration. I'm going to move it to the top by dragging and dropping it and I'm going to open the panel. You can see here there's no wavelength created, right? So what we have to do is basically select our settings. I'm gonna go with precise and then I'm gonna go with subtract. And this are the best settings to create a noise profile. What we would do normally is click on this automatically build a noise profile and uh, we have to enable it during what it says noise so we're going to stay very quiet for 20 seconds and uh, after we untick this option the noise profile after 20 seconds is going to be built problem is we have to click apply and leave this enabled right so we can move on to the next steps but this is not working as intended so let me demonstrate So basically, nothing happened. The noise profile is supposedly created, but it hasn't cut off any of our noise. So let's do it a different way. We're gonna do it, we're gonna build the profile through OBS Studio, and then we're gonna be able to carry over all that to our blue snowball.dxt configuration file. And I'm gonna show you how. So this is my OBS Studio scene, uh, selected scene. So you can probably see a Geekjayception over here, but don't mind that. We're gonna focus on my microphone over here. We're gonna click on these three dots. 
and uh, go to filters and over here we want to add and select the VST2 plugin we're gonna rename it to the name of the plugin we want to use in this case I'm just gonna name it reaffair and then from this drop-down menu I'm going to select the reaffair underscore standalone we are going to click on this open plugin interface and as you can see here we actually have a waveform so let's go back to the settings and build our noise suppression profile okay that is enough so next we need to get that data somehow and the way to do that is navigate to this location over here if you are on a portable installation of OBS Studio if you're not uh, I'm gonna post the other possible locations of the scenes folder in the description below so you can reference them to try and navigate to your own installation I know that the scenes name I'm using is this one geeks101 underscore OBS underscore S1 we want to edit this with a text editor of our liking I'm gonna use notepad plus plus so right click edit with notepad plus plus okay let's bring this here to the main screen and uh, I'm gonna full screen this and we can look for the plugin together so not relevant stuff not relevant stuff we can just control F and search for it but where's the fun in that so anyway you can see here it says uh, name area fair over here and uh, ID it's a VST filter and you can see its location and what we're interested in is the chunk data so it opens up the quotes and there's a lot of mumbo jumbo over here we're just gonna click and scroll and select everything in between the quotes but not the quotes and we're going to copy this so now we want to transfer this into equalizer apo so how do we do that we need to navigate to a different location so let me do that before we copy over this data we need to disable or even delete this audio filter i'm just going to disable and delete it because we've already got a copy of this so now we need to navigate in the config folder of equalizer apo this is where it saves all of its configuration files the default location is pretty simple it's c drive program files equalizer apo config if you've selected a different installation folder during your installation of the program then it's up to you to find where the config folder is located on your system anyway we know for a fact that the blue snowball eq.txt is my own configuration so in here we're gonna find the reaffair plugin configuration up top so it's this one over here if your equalizer apo is running at the moment you should have this enabled 100 percent and then completely exit out of this otherwise the data are not going to be overridden even if you paste the whole uh, chunk data section over to this txt folder so this configuration um, editor has to be completely closed so let's close out of this and you can see here at the top it says vst plugin the name of it which is reaffair underscore standalone you can see chunk data and then you can see it opens quotes so we're going to select everything in between these quotes 
and we are going to paste and now we're going to save and exit out of this so let me open up our equalizer apo once again and as you can see we are using a rear fear standalone so if i disable all of the other uh, plugins especially the noise gate you can see we have minimal noise if and when i'm not speaking And this is because our noise suppression profile has been built. Gonna re-enable my noise gate as well. So for anyone wondering why go through all this trouble to enable your VST plugins through Equalizer APO, first of all, it's going to be universally working on your system. So it's not going to be only applied to your microphone or any other device only when you run OBS Studio. It's going to be running universally on your system on any application. So for example, your microphone is going to sound really good and you're going to have your noise suppressor and all of the other effects on when you're on Discord, on a Zoom call, and the list goes on. The other huge benefit is that it's super lightweight. And how does it do that? OBS is gonna be running, you know, all your scenes and stuff. It's a lot more resource heavy. And if you do that through Equalizer APO, uh, it just injects itself in the Windows audio and libraries. So you don't have to run OBS in the background constantly. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like this video. Also, leave me a comment with any questions and I'm going to be happy to oblige. See you guys next time. Bye bye.